I'm Steve Peck, uh, Director of Winemaking at J. Lohr Vineyards and Wines. Just really a thrill to walk you through some of the Cabernet and Bordeaux varieties that we produce at J. Lohr and talk about Passerobles, which is really um, on the world stage now as one of the go-to places for the very best Bordeaux-style wines in the world. You know, at J. Lohr, we're often talking about family, place, and craft. You know, Jerry Lohr established his family business with his initial plantings in Monterey County and what's now known as the, the Arroyo Seco in 1972 and founded the winery two years later. Um, 10 years later, uh, found Napa Valley and planted uh, over 35 acres in St. Helena. And in 1986 was really when he put, put the stake in the ground in Paso Robles. And that's really what we've become known for more than anything is, is our Bordeaux wines. The first one I want to talk about is the J. Lord Lososos Merlot. There's a part of Paso Robles that is a little further south. We call it the El Pomar district. And it's just historically the perfect area for Merlot. Um, ask any winemaker that's been around since the 80s or 90s, they'll, they'll, they'll talk about the El Pomar and some of the amazing wines, uh, Merlot wines that have been produced from there. And, and there's a soil type there called Los Osos. And, and our Merlot program uh, was founded there with the planning in the year 2000. And uh, our Los Osos blend today incorporates about 15% Malbec, and that's kind of the house style for, for Los Osos, is kind of having the red berry um, cassis characters of Merlot, but some of that more plummy, even hibiscus flower uh, character uh, that we get from the Malbec. Um, we've got over 30 years of practice making Seven Oaks Cabernet. It's arguably been the, the, the greeting card wine from Paso Robles. Um, if it, you know, a wine that, um, you know, across the country, if anybody's had one wine from Paso Robles, it's a good chance it was the Seven Oaks Cab from J. Lohr Vineyards and Wines. Um, I've been able to add to my resume 15 of those vintages of, of producing Se Seven Oaks Cab out of the 30, 32 that we've produced since its uh, first release with the uh, 1987 vintage. You could kind of think of the J. Lohr Hilltop Cabernet Sauvignon as sort of the reserve um, of, of Seven Oaks Cab. It's a wine that um, is produced um, for, as a blend of our three top vineyards in Paso Robles. Uh, the wine spends uh, 18 months in French oak barrel. We are always crafting this wine with an eye towards this dense but soft uh, house style that, that we've become known for. Hilltop is an exceptional wine and in 2013 we decided to go a step further. We identified one block from our very best vineyard that's located at 1700 feet above sea level. We call this wine Signature Cabernet Sauvignon. This wine is really Jerry Lohr's message to the world that J. Lohr can be in the company of the greatest Cabernet Sauvignons in the world. I love the fact that we release this wine every year on Jerry's birthday. Jerry's a New Year's baby, January 1st. So January 1st every year, our, our wine club and our distribution partners can look forward to the winery rolling out the new vintage of signature Cabernet Sauvignon that hails from one of the highest elevation vineyards in Paso Robles. The newest wine in our portfolio is the J. Lohr Pure Paso Proprietary Red Wine. When you talk about Paso Robles, you can't talk about Paso Robles wines without thinking of J. Lohr. And when you talk about J. Lohr, you have to talk about Paso Robles. This wine really uh, connects two of our most exceptional varieties, Cabernet Sauvignon, with its sort of herbal green minty characteristics, along with some of the overt blackberry notes that we get from Petit Syrah. The result is not just a blend of these two flavors, but kind of a layering, a coming together of two flavor profiles in your glass that really is satisfying um, and, and compelling. 
And uh, I, I love this wine and its youth. Um, and um, I love to do a nice splash decant with pure Paso and, 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 and get it to aerate and really fill the room with, with this, this broad range of cassis and blackberry aroma. It's a real pleasure to share these wines with you, and I look forward to seeing you on your next trip to Paso Robles.